So in today's video, we're going to be looking at a recently published article by the Business Insider about why so many Floridians are choosing to move to the state of Tennessee. My name is Todd Jewell, and me and my team receive calls and emails every day from people just like you who are looking to make that move to Knoxville. We love to hear from you. We don't care if you're looking to make that move immediately. If you're not going to be moving for a year, we want to go ahead and get the process started so that your move can be as easy and stress-free as possible. Okay, let's get started. So let's first begin with some numbers. According to the article, Tennessee is seeing a pretty big population surge coming from the state of Florida, as well as the state of Texas and California. And if you go back and look between July 2021 and July 2022, the state of Tennessee saw over 225,000 people relocate into our state from those states. That's a significant number for the state of Tennessee when you compare that to our population. I will say one of the main reasons that the article indicates that these people say that they were moving is that they were looking for a much slower pace and much slower lifestyle. And if you live here in Tennessee, you may think, wow, we feel like our, our pace and our lifestyle is not that slow anymore. But our population is so much less in those states that when you look at that and compare them, you can see why the people who are relocating here feel that way. Tennessee just has over 7 million people that populate it. You know, the state of Florida has over 22 million, the state of Texas over 30 million, and the state of California over 39 million people. So these folks are moving from areas that are much more densely populated. So moving to a state like Tennessee with just over 7 million people, even in our more populated cities such as Nashville, Memphis, and Knoxville, still feel very sparsely populated and it offers them that much more laid back lifestyle that they are desiring. So let's consider first why Tennessee. Once it's appeal, why are so many people considering? And I personally believe one of the best ways to do that is to do what they did in this article and allow someone else to talk that has moved here from the state of Florida. In the article, they chose a lady whose name is Lindsay Moore. She's a mom, a dental hygienist. She moved here from Florida and she documents a lot of her life on TikTok. And one of the things she does is she mentions things such as the fact that she loves to garden and there's great soil here to do that which she didn't have in Florida. She's able to experience all four seasons again and and which is great because we've done videos on that. I mean, Tennessee does offer a very unique climate in that we have four very distinct but all four mild seasons and all four relatively short and mild seasons. You know, she's able to experience what she considers to be where she moved from a very tight knit vibe to her community. And as well as, you know, the people I talk to that are moving here that I work with tell me that Knoxville has this very unique ability to run into the city and have all the things that the city offers amenity wise, but also all the natural beauty and outdoor activities that you would usually have to get into a more rural area for. So it's that combination and that balance between the two that is making Tennessee a very unique and very popular place to relocate. Now, this is not the only reason. So let's look at some other reasons cited in this article and that I'm also hearing from folks who are relocating as to why Knoxville is becoming such a popular destination spot for so many from Florida and these other states. So the second thing we need to look at is, is the financial incentive. You know, it's always, people look at the lifestyle, but at the end of the day, we also always are looking at our, our billfolds and our pocketbooks, right? Our bank accounts. So financially, how does Tennessee stay back up against a state such as Florida. You know, so if you go online and you look at a lot of the cost of living websites, and there's many of them out there that do a good job, what you're going to pretty much see is there's usually anywhere from an eight to 10, 12% cost of living savings in the state of Tennessee when you compare that to the state of Florida. Now, that's going to vary, okay? It's going to vary based on city location in Florida and city location here in Tennessee. You know, Nashville's a little more expensive than Knoxville. Memphis is a little more expensive than Knoxville. I'm sure that there's areas in Florida, such as Miami, that are much more expensive than other areas of Florida. So you do have to drill down on that, and those indicators will allow you to do that. But in general, there is some cost of living savings being here in Knoxville and in the state of Tennessee. 
Another thing that attracts a lot of Floridians is, is we also don't have a state income tax just like they don't have a state income tax. So if you're coming from Florida and you don't want to give that up, you don't want to all of a sudden have to start paying a state income tax. So you're looking for other areas that may offer you that same advantage and Tennessee is one of those states. I'll give you some numbers as well. You know, there's some savings in our real estate. Both Florida and Tennessee have seen our real estate prices increase over the past few years as has almost everywhere in the United States. And most folks who are moving here are taking advantage of that from where they're coming from. But to put some numbers to that, if you go to Zillow currently, here in the fall of 2023, Zillow will tell you that the average cost of a home in the state of Florida today is $392,922. If you compare that with the state of Tennessee, the average cost of a home here is $311,706. You can go onto our channel and find other cost of living updates and they give you current numbers here in Knoxville locally, but you are going to see some savings in the real estate costs when you go to purchase a home here in Tennessee and especially here in Knoxville as it relates to most areas in Florida. Now, for me, it's not the savings of the cost of the home. For me, it's the savings of the ownership in the home. Our real estate taxes here are so affordable. If you're out in Knox County, have somebody that's moving here recently from Bonita Springs, they just closed on a home and they're, they're moving up actually tomorrow. And you know, significant cost in their real estate taxes and in their insurance. You know, half million dollar home here in Knox County, about $1,750 a year in real estate taxes. Your insurance on that home is gonna be under two grand a year usually, sometimes under 1,500 depending on the home in the area. So there's a lot of ownership cost. And those are the things that in retirement or on any kind of budget, everybody's on a fixed budget. Those things matter because those are the things that stick with you for the entire life of the home. And so you're paying those monthly. So our, our real estate ownership costs here in Tennessee and in the Knoxville area in particular do very, very well. And we've done some other cost of real estate uh, comparisons and stuff between Knoxville and other parts of Tennessee. So if you're considering Nashville, I would tell you definitely to consider Knoxville or any other area around Tennessee because there are some really good cost of living savings here in the Knoxville and Knox County areas uh, with our real estate taxes and some other things. All right, let's move on to the next category. So the next major area that the order covers is that most of the folks that move to Tennessee from Florida and these other areas are looking for a simpler lifestyle. And you have to go back and remember what I said about the population density differences between the states and, and to give you an understanding of why they, someone moving to our state or moving to the Knoxville area would see this as a much simpler lifestyle. Meeting with folks yesterday, they said just driving on our roads is such a pleasure coming from Colorado Springs where it's very, very crowded and, you know, just driving down the road can be a real chore at times. So, you know, being a local here, we think that our lifestyle in the Knoxville area is not that simple anymore. But, you know, when you compare that to a lot of the other areas, cities, and states, we still have a fantastic quality of life and a really simple, easy lifestyle. You know, one of the things that we don't have to do here that I talk to some people and the article even talks about this, that, you know, they want to get their child into a good school, but there's a waiting list. You don't have that in our area. There are a lot of great schools to choose from. So, you know, there are so many advantages to the simpler lifestyle that you have here. I mean, just the ability to, to, to choose numerous parks like I'm at today, back over here at Lakeshore, you see lots of people just walking behind me, you know, and, and those kind of things. We enjoy a lifestyle that sometimes I think here as a local, we don't even fully appreciate. And so when a lot of folks visit our area and they see that's very appealing to them. So, you know, one of the things that we do see here is that people are moving to Tennessee looking for a small town feel with the amenities of a city. And luckily here in Knoxville, Tennessee, that's exactly what we have to offer. So next let's talk about real estate. We need to consider what is the prospective investment opportunities here in Knoxville look like in real estate. I hear from people all the time, is the market fixing to go down and, and all these kinds of things. Well, let's just look at some numbers. First of all, if you look at a video that just came out that we did from a survey done by Move Buddha, they're expecting the population in the state of Tennessee to more than double to over 14 million people by the year 2100. If you look at the state of Tennessee, we have an inventory shortage across the state. There are many reasons and there are multi-generational reasons that people are moving here. So you don't want to just buy a home and look at it as an investment. Your home is your home first. It's where you have memories. It's where you enjoy, you know, whether it's raising 
raising your family or whether it's enjoying living out your retirement years or for whatever reason, it first needs to be a place and you need to consider that home for the home that it is. But secondly, it's also usually the top investment that almost everybody that I work with has in their in their financial portfolio is their home. It's it's their biggest, you know, investment. And so, you know, if you are someone who is a younger family and you're trying to build wealth and you're at that time of your life, or whether you're someone who is looking at the retirement years like we are in the future and trying to slow down growth and just try to maintain, or whether you're already in retirement, it's all about maintaining that lifestyle and then being able to pass that on to the next generation in your family. The numbers back this up. This isn't an opinion. Knoxville is probably as good a place in the country for you to be investing your real estate dollars. So don't listen to the fear mongers out there. We're not looking at a real estate crash and Knoxville is probably as good a market as you'll ever be able to look uh, to consider as a place to move if it works for you from a lifestyle's perspective. So I just bought a home myself this year. I feel like the market's great. And so I tell people that all the time. I'm not just telling you to that it's a good market. I believe enough that I'm investing into it myself. So let's look just a little bit beyond Florida and let's talk just quickly about Texas and California because both of those two states are mentioned in this article and I think appropriately so because as someone who spends basically every day working with out-of-state people I can tell you the state of Texas in the last year has become a huge driver to our population growth here in Knoxville. I have so many people that are in Austin and Dallas and those areas that are moving for multiple reasons whether it be the hot summers and the and the overwhelming heat, unbelievable real estate taxes that they're experiencing there in Texas, or a change in, in the uh, you know the political climate in the area that they live in. I'm hearing from folks in Texas, and I can just pick that up and set it on California. California, everything I just mentioned is something I don't think that would surprise most people, but I'm hearing the same thing now from just as many people in Texas. So those also were areas that Tennessee has become and is continuing to be more and more popular for. So everything I think that we picked up and said about Florida in this video, I could say also for Texas and for California, but I could also add to that, you know, the state income tax thing that we don't have here and a significant savings in real estate taxes and a pretty significant savings in a purchase price for real estate here in Tennessee. So, you know, not just Florida, but beyond Florida, we're seeing a lot of folks moving. We're starting to see a lot of folks from Colorado, which is also an area that's fairly new over the last 24 months for us. Um, I'm seeing a lot of people considering moving here from and for various reasons, although they do sort of uh, lay down beside the same reasons. Check out some of our other videos if you have it. We talk about a lot of those things in detail and I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you haven't given us a thumbs up, please do so. We love those thumbs up. They're encouraging to all us that are putting the time into making these videos. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so below. You'll be notified when we release each of these videos. And until next time, guys, I can't wait to see you around Knoxville soon.